The Witches by Roald Dahl. Frizzled Like a Fritter, Part 2. I knew immediately, of course, that this was none other than the Grand High Witch herself. I knew also why she had worn a mask. She could never have moved around in public, let alone book in at a hotel with her real face. Everyone who saw her would have run away with screaming sounds. The doors, shouted the Grand High Witch in a voice that filled the room and bounced around the walls. Are they chained and bolted? The doors are chained and bolted, your grandness, answered a voice in the audience. The brilliant snake's eyes that were so deep set in that dreadful, rotting, worm-eaten face glared unblinking at the witches who sat facing her. You may remove your gloves, she shouted. Her voice, I noticed, had that same hard metallic quality as the voice of the witch I had met under the conker tree, only it was far louder and much, much harsher. It rasped, it grated, it snarled, it scraped, it shrieked, and it growled. Everyone in the room was now peeling off her gloves. I was watching the hands of those in the back row. I wanted very much to see what those fingers looked like and what if my grandmother had been right. Ah, yes, I could see several of them now. I could see the brown claws curving over the tips of the fingers. Have a look. They were about two inches long, those claws, and sharp at the ends. You may remove your shoes, barked the Grand High Witch. I heard a sigh of relief going up from all the witches in the room as they kicked off their narrow, high-heeled shoes. And then I got a glimpse under the chairs of several of stockinged feet, square and completely toeless. Revolting they were as though the toes had been sliced away from the feast with a carving knife. Have a look. You may remove your wigs, snarled the Grand High Witch. She had a peculiar way of speaking. There was some sort of foreign accent there, something harsh and guttural. And she seemed to have trouble pronouncing the letter W. As well as that, she did something funny with the letter R. She would not, she would roll it around and round her mouth, mouth like a piece of pork, crackling before spitting it out. Remove your wigs and get some fresh air into your spotty scalps, she shouted. And another sigh of relief arose from the audience as all the hands went up to the heads and all the wigs with the hat still on them were lifted away.